About a month ago, you were invited to perform your lead single from the album, That's My King, on the Kelly Clarkson show. And, yeah. you know, what was amazing was I watched that performance and it was like being just ushered into the presence of God. Um, you know, that song, That's My King, what does yeah. that song mean to you? Oh, it means everything because he is my king. And, and I believe, I, I love this song for so many reasons, but one of the reasons I love it most is that it is a song that is bold. It's, it's proclaiming who Jesus is. And it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a song of celebration. And I believe as believers, we have a reason to celebrate, not just in the good times, but in the bad times. We have a reason to celebrate every day because of Jesus, because what was accomplished on the cross. And we need to be bold about it, you know? It's time out for complaining about what we see in the world and, and we forget who we are. You know, we're here to be the salt and the light and to shout his name from the mountaintop. And when we do, not only does he respond, but, but people are drawn to him. Mm. And so this song is about celebration. It's about declaring who he is. And you know what? Even though we name all the things in the song, we still haven't scratch the surface of his power and and his might and and who he is um in totality because he's just great <laughs> yeah he certainly is you know there's something about declaring that jesus is king you know when i when i watch you worship god with that song that's my king i can feel things shift in my own spirit so what do you mm. think is happening when we just focus on jesus as king as ruler as leader and Lord over all. Well, I think you're saying it. We're putting them in his rightful place. You know, I think as believers, we forget sometime who he is and therefore we dishonor him um, by putting other things first. He said, I, I have to be first. You can't put no other God before me. And that's your feelings. That's that's whatever you're facing. That's your situation. Um, we have to put him, when we put Jesus in his rightful place, think, your whole life shifts. Everything um, that that the enemy is trying to do, also, uh, all of a sudden you're reminded that it's, it, he's already under your feet because of what Jesus did. And so it is a shift. When we declare that he is king, we put him in his rightful place. And when he's in his rightful place and ruling and actually being not just your savior, but your Lord, um, then he's able to do what only he can do in your life and in the lives of others. So we have to always put him first and magnify his name and glorify who he is. And, and then he's able to, to, I love the, I love the verse that says, um, uh, He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Um, when we put him in his rightful place, then he's able to flow unrestricted. Uh, such a good uh, re reminder and, and so much wisdom in what you're sharing. And I think for our viewers who say, I don't know always how to do that, just listening to That's My King, taking part in that moment of focusing on Jesus, you're right, everything else starts to fall away. There is freedom and new life. Uh, that we couldn't imagine. You know, it was amazing to see this past May uh, where you performed at the season 22 finale of American Idol and watching you perform Goodness of God with uh, Roman Collins, an American Idol contestant, uh, was just so, so profound. I mean, there were over Praise 5 million people tuning in on broadcast. And since Praise then, God. over 45 million people have watched have watched you perform that song with Roman. And I have to ask you, you know, what was that like to be on such a global stage, singing the goodness of God, um, a song that proclaims the truth about who God is and how mm -hmm. he's journeyed with you and how he wants to journey with every human in the world? Um, it was it was a setup. It was, it was God. It was all God. I take no credit for it whatsoever. Um, when my managers told me that American Idol was giving me an invitation, they submitted uh, 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 about three of my songs. And I told them when they submitted them, I said, man, it would be great to sing Goodness of God, you know? And and I didn't write Goodness of God. Bethel Music put that out years ago. Um, but God put it on my heart to do it again. And even when I recorded that song, management was like, well, it's been recorded. 
so many times and you know we don't really think you should do it you know the the producer you know because they just and i was like well i don't know when it came out before but i missed it when it came out and i'm in the music industry uh and and it hit my heart so much that i was like i'm going to do this song over again and to see what god has done through this song and even with american idol when they came back and said they wanted me to do this song i was just like lord i thank you because this song is so powerful again declaring his faithfulness of who he is and my prayer from that moment was lord this is your moment do what you want to do um it wasn't about me and when i met roman collins the first i met him that sunday earlier on the day for rehearsal and his first words were this young man his first words were it's pentecostal sunday this is not by accident that we're gonna be singing today. And that just blessed me so much that that's where his heart and mine was. He wanted God's presence to show up in a great way. And so I said, you know what, if that's your heart, and I know that's my heart, then we're gonna to come together and God is going to do something that no one can take the credit for. They're gonna experience the power of God. And that's what happened. And so I wanna share this too because that morning, um, management called me and was like, hey, I think your part has been shown, viewed maybe four times more than everybody else. And the first thing that came to my mind was Daniel. When when the king, when, when he decided to, him and, and, and the Hebrew boys decided to uh, consecrate their lives to the Lord. And, and when they came back to the king, they said they were 10 times better. And I told him, I said, well, four is good, but I'm going for 10 times better because that's who Jesus is. And everybody needs to know that it's not about me. It's not even about Roman, but it was God's presence. And so now it's like over 10 times more than anything that's been viewed on, on, on that show. And all glory goes to God. You know, he wants, he knows how to make himself known. I've learned over the years that if I stay out of the way and, and just be a vessel for him, then he will show up and he will get the glory. And, and that's what happened. And so I'm just honored that I was able to be a part, but trust me, it was just a part. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. God's glory was on full display that day. And it felt like such an invitation to every viewer. This is what it looks like to walk with a personal God who loves us and is pursuing us. Uh, you know, mm. Seeing you sing with Roman Collins, I'm so excited because you guys are actually going to be out on a Christmas tour together across North America, starting uh, in Pennsylvania, December 4th. It's my birthday. I just have to say it. And I got to get out there. <laughs> Very good. Happy birthday. <laughs> come, come celebrate. That's what this. I'm thinking. It's not too far. And, uh, and then you'll be culminating that in New Jersey, December 20th. So Christmas with yes. CC. I think so many viewers would want to go to that. So we want to encourage everybody watching uh, to go to ccwinings.com to get those tickets. But CC, for our Canadian viewers watching, you are going to be here in September uh, in Toronto and New Brunswick. So we're so yes. thrilled. <laughs> I'm coming. Look, I hope I'm getting there before it gets too cold. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Cold hands, warm heart. That's our Canadian way. <laughs> well, we love you here in Canada so much, Cece. And there are so many followers of Jesus across the country who are seeking him and, and who love to listen to your music to help them connect with God. Do you have a special word of encouragement for your Canadian viewers watching 100 Huntley Street right now? Yes. First of all, I love you. I love you so much. You guys have been a blessing and you have loved not just me, but my whole family for so many years. And um, every time I get a chance to come, I am honored and excited to be there. And, and I just want to encourage you to be who God created you to be. You know, we're living in a time where there's so many things happening, but we're sin abound, grace abounds much more. God is for you. And, and, it, you know, it's amazing what God can do with a few of us. So those of us who believe in Jesus, hey, let, let's let's be all that God has called us to be so that your nation will be blessed. You're there. And because of you being there in Canada, Canada is blessed, you know, and so stand up for the Lord. Know that if God be for you, who can be against you? And, and God has so much in store for you. And so I'm excited to come and, and to encourage you to keep worshiping God, 
um, so that God can use you to change your nation. Oh, Cece, such a good word for so many people watching right now. Thank you. That's so encouraging and it's so full of truth. Before you go, we just have to say happy 40th wedding anniversary to you and your husband, Thank you. Pastor Alvin Love. So good. Uh, well, Cece, we're so excited you've joined us today. We're so thrilled about your new album and all of the different ventures you have going. I can't wait to see you out on tour. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much. Again, you look beautiful in that green. <laughs> thank you, I it just for you. <laughs> Thanks for having me and thank you for what you guys do. Together, we're, we're changing the world for Jesus and I love you so much and I look forward to seeing you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you too. Thank you, Cece. You got it. Bye-bye.